Hey besties, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new. My name is Sarah Kate and I am so excited because we are in that transition period between summer and fall. In my opinion, the beginning of September equals the beginning of fall because my birthday is at the beginning of September. I've always said that I am a fall baby. Also, football starts up soon, college football to be exact, so that is the start of fall in the south for sure. However, it is like 90 degrees today, so I am in my sweater. However, um, I am really hot right now. I just had to turn the air down in my house because I am I'm sweating. But we are manifesting fall, and not only are we wearing a sweater to get into the fall mood, I also have some warm tea right here and my little mug from Alaska. If you watched my Alaska cruise vlogs, you would know. I just love this little mug. It's from Icy Straight Point, and it is just so cute. So we've got some ginger green tea in here with honey and one Splenda. That is my daily. I drink that every single morning. Should I branch out? Probably, but... I love it. I love tea because I can't drink coffee, so this is a great alternative, so. That is so yummy. I put extra honey in it today because I just needed some extra honey. If you see me sipping on that throughout, it's probably because I'm not used to talking this much, so I'm going to need something for my throat for sure. Along with the tea, we have a pumpkin candle. I know you guys spotted it in the background. This is Pumpkin Bliss. I was actually given this at my old job because for some reason we had a bunch of these and they were like, please take them. So we are going to light this candle. This is the first fall candle of the season and I am so excited. So I have my little electric lighter here, which I think is so fun. I've actually never had one of these like wood wick. Ooh. So while this kind of warms up, it already smells so strong so my room is already smelling like pumpkins i am so excited i need to find and pull out my fall decorations so that we can complete everything but that is just not gonna happen right now maybe a little bit later but i'm excited for fall so we'll put this over here and let her burn while we talk all about my fall bookish tbr i am a big big fall fan and i have lots of cozy books that i have all year been chanting to my friends like oh no i'm gonna read that in fall like this i'm saving it for fall so the tbr is long the first book i want to talk about is the atlas six by olive blake i've had this on my shelf for so long but look at it doesn't it just kind of encompass like halloween fall girl like i am very excited oh my gosh the back literally says secrets betrayal seduction power welcome to the alexandrian society guys just <laughs> i need to just read this and i'm so excited maybe this will help get me into the fall mood a little bit i think i'm going to love this and i know that the rest of the series is out so i can finish the series I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that, but I believe the rest of the series is out. So I am so excited. This is basically six of the most uniquely talented magicians are selected to earn a place at the Alexandrian Society, the foremost secret society in the world. The Chosen will secure a life of power and prestige beyond their wildest dreams. So I'm not sure how many people survive in the end. Like, do all six of them get to survive or is it just one person? Because the back isn't very clear about... I'm guessing only one person gets to be chosen, um, it's kind of the vibe I'm getting, but it doesn't exactly say. So I'm thinking they're all fighting to the nail to become the next magician for this society or to join this society. I love going into books blind, and I've said this before on my channel, but you will see that I don't know much about the books I'm going to read. That is on purpose because I want to be surprised, and I feel like any, even like little thing that I know is kind of a spoiler. I get things spoiled so easily for me and I'm tired of it. So I'm going to start going into books very blind. <laughs> the next book I want to read, keeping on that fantasy train, is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. I am so excited to read this. I also have it downloaded on my Kindle, ready to go from Kindle Unlimited. I love how this book, the edges here, they look like the metal book bind. Oh, I don't know what you call them, like book edges that you would see on like old antique books and I love that. I am really intrigued. Basically this book is about this girl who has this kind of illness like a person that like speaks inside of her head and to get rid of this kind of like other voice in her head she has to collect six I think cards and each card has a different power but whenever you hold all of them I think you get to like a wish granted 
So it doesn't say how many cards on the back, but she does end up meeting somebody along the way and he is going to help her find the rest of the cards. I am intrigued. I'm, I've heard there's a smidgen of romance in here, so this is mostly fantasy. I've honestly like not been in the biggest like super super romance mood recently, so I've been loving fantasy, literary fiction, things of that sort. So this will be such a good read for the fall. Next up, Don't Kill Me, <laughs> is Divine Rivals. I have had this special edition for months now. Um, I Well, this isn't the special edition. This is the UK edition. I love it. It's gorgeous. This is a book that takes place during a war. It's more like magical realism than anything, I believe. So she writes on her typewriter, puts them behind her dresser, and thinks that those letters are going to her brother who is fighting in the war. But really, they end up at Rowan's desk and then they start writing each other back and forth so this takes place again during a war and just kind of like their part that they play in it but this is first one's pretty heavy on the romance second one is heavier on the fantasy from what I know and I'm just so excited to read this I think it's gonna be wonderful this will be a great cozy fall read high stakes of course but you know learning more so about like the gods and things of that sort keeping on that cozy fantasy train not that I'm saying that that is a cozy fantasy but it could be Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brando Sando love him. Brandon Sanderson wrote this actually for his wife and she begged him to publish it so this is in honor of her he wrote this book. I actually was able to thrift this book. I can you can probably see the like sticky residue on here that I had to get off. I found this at Dirt Cheap and I was so excited to pick this up for five dollars because a this cover is gorgeous and I just always love a cozy fantasy. So basically this book is about Tress and I believe somebody goes missing. Her like lover goes missing and so she sets out to find him. She ends up getting on the ship on her way and I think there's like talking animals and you get to kind of meet all of these people that she meets along the way and it's just cozy like she's just on this journey to find her beloved how she gets there and it's just a really fun good wholesome time i promise i'm not only talking about fantasies in this video but the next book that i have for you guys is apprentice to the villain by hannah nicole Mayer, and i have been following hannah since she before she even wrote the books she is a tiktok creator and started to make just these like silly fun little videos about what she thinks it would be like to be the assistant to the villain. So that is the first book which I have right here and I read that one. So the first one is purple and has like red edges and this one is red and has purple edges which I think is so cute. The first one is just very like cozy fantasy to me however the last like 50 pages she just like shoved some action in there. So I'm really intrigued to see how this one goes, if it's going to be another more cozy or if it's going to try and be more action packed. You're just following the assistant to the villain in her everyday today office life. So I'm excited to continue this series. This just came out in August, so it'll be really fun to dive back into this world this fall. Okay, be proud of me. We're not talking about fantasy anymore. The next book I have for you is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And this book... I have had it for so long and I am so so excited to read it. I just have not been in the mood to cry. Also she's thick so like I need to be in the mood to cry and read a really long book. I just know this is going to be a gorgeous read from what I've heard other people say about this book and literally from the cover. Again I don't want to spoil anything for myself or for you but this basically takes place during the Hitler era kind of talking about how it affected people in Trees. I believe this takes place in France if you can tell by the Eiffel Tower in the back and it follows two sisters who take very different paths during this war and who choose very different lifestyles and how that kind of clashes or goes together. I'm not exactly sure what either of them do but I just know it's gonna make me so sad. I love reading books about this time period and about what happened and educating myself and she bases all of her books based off of real people that she's interviewed and that she has 
taken their life stories and given them to the world so <laughs> i'm gonna cry thinking about it like i am so excited to read this book next up is going to be a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson my best friend gave me this book and has been begging me to read it and i have been telling her that i was going to wait till fall so here we are mary catherine you can stop yelling at me i'm going to read it this fall and then i want to watch the tv show so this is a three book series so a trilogy and the, basically it is about this girl in high school who is doing her senior thesis on an unsolved murder and basically helps solve this cold case murder from her hometown. I'm intrigued to see because you never know what you're gonna get with a YA mystery. Kingdom of the Curse is the next book I have for you. This is by Carrie Maniscalco. I read the first book in this series, started the first like 30 pages of this book, and just decided I wasn't really in the mood for it. The first book was so much fun. It's basically about these twin sisters who are witches and they live in Italy, which anything set in Italy, count me in, I will be reading it. It was a bit of a murder mystery slash kind of teaming up with the devil to help find out what happened with this murder. And that was so fun. Although the main character did really piss me off in the first book and she was just like so back and forth. I was like, girl, make a decision. Um, the main character was really just I was not having it with her and I think that that's why I started the second book and was like I need a break from her she is just too back and forth cannot decide what she wants either be with him or don't be with him like why are we back and forth so much next up again my best friend bought me this book stalking Jack the Ripper this is one of her favorite books and she is absolutely obsessed with it she bought me this a while ago probably about a year ago now and I'm gonna read it this fall. Again, a very atmospheric fall read. This is by, oh, this is also by Carrie Maniscalco. Oh, well, I like did not realize. I knew that, I just forgot. So this is about a young teenage girl who wants to get into like, I don't know what you call it, whenever they do like autopsies on dead bodies, she wants to get into that, but being a female and getting into that in this era is very frowned upon. She lives in like I think the 1800s. So she is kind of starting to find other ways to be able to study human bodies since she can't go into school. She meets this guy along the way who sells her dead bodies I think and they kind of start going in together to learn more and then it's also a murder mystery. Somebody gets murdered somehow they get to look at the body and I think they help solve this murder that's all I know. Next up is actually a series that MK also bought me. We buy each other a lot of books. This is The Remnant Chronicles, which is the trilogy that happens before Dance of Thieves. Dance of Thieves was actually the first book that got me back into reading whenever I was in college. So that duology has a really special place in my heart. And I really need to read the prequel trilogy that comes before it. Because why not? Like if I love that series, I would love to reread it. So I could read this trilogy first and then reread that duology. This is by Mary E. Pearson and I highly, highly, highly highly recommend the Dance of Thieves duology. I've heard that this one is a little bit slower than the Dance of Thieves duology and more fantasy centered. So like I said, I've been more of a fantasy mood, not so much romance mood recently. So this will be really good for the fall. And I really want to read all three of these. They are not very long and they are easy reads. So I'm looking forward to reading these as well. Next up in this stack is going to be The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. This one especially, I've just heard such incredible things about. I'm actually going to New York um, later this month in September so I'm thinking I'm gonna read this while I'm in New York because it does take place in a New York City apartment and what better place to read this book than New York City itself so this book is basically about this girl who receives an apartment from her deceased aunt she goes to live in it and every once in a while this apartment slips back seven years where there's a male living in it so every once in a while she gets to meet this guy this is just like a magical realism so like in our world but with a little bit of magical element to it and we don't really know why this apartment slips back seven years every once in a while it just kind of does and I am thrilled to be able to read this because I feel like that would be so fun not any world building anything like that just basically this magical element in our current world this is definitely going to be a cozy read for the fall okay this one I don't know much about like at all it's been on my TBR since Christmas of last year it was gifted to me it is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong and I actually have really been wanting to read this author I just have not yet so this is gonna be my first book by her this is about a girl there are two rival gangs 
I believe she's kind of gotten away from the gang lifestyle. She is out doing other things. She ends up having to come home to help out the family. And then she ends up meeting with the son or the heir of the rival gang. So this takes place in 1926 in Shanghai. I love learning about other cultures and other countries so this is gonna be so fun i feel like i'm gonna learn a lot from this book as well let's have like a little bit of romance and a little bit of like not fantasy but like a fantasy aspect almost because they are two rival gangs and how fun is that second to last i need to complete this series so bad all in by jennifer lynn barnes this is the third in the natural series i also already have the fourth right here bad blood so i am ready to finish this i ate up the first two i don't really know why i stopped after the second one because i was so excited to get into this and then i think i just started to read other things and never got back to it so i really really want to finish this series get another series checked off my list because I don't like being in the middle of too many series at one time and I feel like I'm in the middle of quite a few right now. Basically this book is a YA mystery. The first one is kind of about this girl who has this natural sense and ability um, that's going to help out the FBI. So she ends up getting sent to this school where there's like four kids who have just kind of natural senses that really help the FBI in different investigations. So you're kind of following these kids and watching them as they help figure out murders and mysteries and things of that sort. So it's not super high stakes, but the end is usually something crazy happens. And this girl gets into like way too much that she should. Like she needs to take a step back, but she is always getting into everything. It always ends on a really big bang. And I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes writing in this series. I didn't love the Inheritance Game series, but I am loving this one so if you felt the same about inheritance games give this one a shot lastly on my physical tbr also don't murder me for this guys i'm so sorry i need to finish the harry potter series i read the first two and really enjoyed them but they are children's books so i find it kind of hard to read sometimes whenever i want something really high stakes and complex to go and read a kid a children's book quote unquote but i really want to read these this fall whenever i'm feeling cozy and i know that they get better as they go they get very thick too and i think that's why i stopped because after the third one i was like oof the rest of these are kind of doozies but i'm really looking forward to it i've never read the harry potter series who am I? I wasn't allowed to read it in elementary school when it was pretty big and then by the time I got to middle school I read the first two and then was like hmm whatever I don't really care. Well I bought these off of eBay because I really like the spines and I wanted this specific spine. I do plan on vlogging this whenever I do read it because I mean everybody's pretty much read this series so I feel like it's fun to watch people read series that you love. So I plan on um, reading these and vlogging it whenever that happens no promises. So that concludes my personal physical TBR and now I want to get into some books that I do not own but want to read. The first book that I do not own but want to read is The Storied Life of A.J. Vickery. I think that this would be just such a cozy read of a book. Basically this book is about an older man who owns a bookshop and his like prized, I believe Edgar Allan Poe editions of books end up getting stolen and then you just kind of get to learn more about him and what he's been through in life, etc, etc. And it's just really cozy, sweet read from what I've heard from people. Then we have Half of a Soul by Olivia Atwater. And this is basically about a girl who when she was younger, a fairy came and took half of her soul so she doesn't feel a lot of emotion like other people do like embarrassment kind of knowing when to stop talking that sort of thing so in the regency era that is very frowned upon so it's kind of a story of her life and then this guy that comes in who is also like very rude and does not care what other people think and I believe that they go on a journey to either find the other half of her soul or just kind of learn how to live with half of a soul. I am intrigued to read this because the author has come out and said that basically this is how people with ADHD or like being neurodivergent would have felt during the Regency era and I just think that that is absolutely incredible to write about and I am very intrigued by it because I find myself struggling with ADHD. How I would have lived then would be very different than how I lived now. So instead of embracing something and like learning to work around it, having to just push through it. On the list next is going to be The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Laurie Gilmore. Also what an iconic name. I feel like if your name is Gilmore you equal fall because Gilmore Girls in the fall 
basically iconic so I might have to put that on the background while I'm reading this but this is a small town romance and that is literally all that I know about it and that makes me so excited I love a small town romance and I'm sure that there it takes place in this cafe the cover gives fall so much and I am thrilled to read this because this is definitely going to be the fall read of the year in my opinion i think <laughs> then we have the heartless hunter by kristen cicerelli i believe i'm pronouncing her name correctly forgive me if i am not but this is actually already downloaded on kindle unlimited on my kindle because i have been wanting to read this for a while ever since rachel catherine talked about it on her channel it just seems right up my alley this book takes place in a world where witches are hunted and killed the girl main character in this book is a witch and then the guy main character in this book is a witch hunter there's a bit of a romance between them but he doesn't know that he's hunting her down and she does because she basically dresses as the crimson moth at night to help save other witches how incredible i love her for that so i'm excited this will be definitely an action packed maybe some like betrayal who knows what's gonna happen this is gonna be such a fun fantasy read for fall next up is going to be butcher and blackbird by bryn weaver this is the story of two serial killers in the present day who fall in love and end up in many people's lives but basically it's people that have done actually really wrong things from what i remember i've only heard raving reviews about it lastly on this list we have the x hex and this is by rachel hawkins this is a witchy romance and that's about all i know this is going to be a halloween read for sure probably the week of halloween i will read this if you guys have any good like witchy romances or any very good halloween books i can't take scary but i can do like light little witchy romances that are actually good i feel like sometimes the like holiday reads are kind of not the best you know you it's kind of hit and miss on if they're actually good romances or not so if you have any good recommendations please let me know down below because i am looking for them and i am keeping my eye out especially if they're on kindle unlimited please let me know if they're on kindle unlimited your girl's balling on a budget <laughs> lastly for this video i know it's been so long but i have so much i want to talk about i want to talk about new releases that are coming out this fall i looked on a couple of lists and really there weren't that many authors that were releasing books in the fall and i don't know if that's just because the list i was looking at like weren't really talking about a lot or if that's just because a lot of authors don't release books in the fall but i only really have a couple right now for ones that i'm looking out for first of course is wild eyes by elsie silver I love my girl Elsie Silver. She's right behind me and that is the second book to Wild Love and I did order a pre-order signed copy by her so that's really exciting and I'm thrilled to have that come in. That was kind of my birthday present to myself because my birthday is on the 8th so it'll be coming in right about the time my birthday is so happy birthday to me in advance. Next up is a book by an author I've never heard of before but it sounds really interesting. It's called The Night We Lost Him by Laura Dave. This comes out on September 17th and it says that this is a book about two estranged siblings that look into their father's past after he falls to his death at a cliffside home okay like don't tell me anymore like this is a mystery two siblings that come together that haven't obviously talked in a while and they're trying to look into their father's death the last one that i have on this list is the songbird and the heart of stone by carissa broadbent and that is on november 19th this is the crown of nyaxia i believe it's the third series but it's the first book in this third series i have literally only read the first book in the servant of the wings of night series but i hope to finish reading those this fall as well those are all in kindle unlimited so i've been reading them on there and they have just been such a good time i'm actually reading the novella right now and six scorched roses i believe it's called and i'm having a great time so i really need to finish that so i can get on through this series i'm really hoping the rest of the series is as good as these first ones have been thank you so much for watching today's video i know that we are all so excited for fall to start so start manifesting it get out your candles get out your decorations put your sweaters on even if you're sweating through them like i am right now and let me know if you have any fall anticipated releases or what is on your personal fall tbr i am always on the hunt for new great reads so please leave any of your recommendations down below if you want to join me on this book 
bookish journey I am on don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay in tune with what we are doing I know that I'm pretty new to the booktube sphere but I would love it if you tagged along for the journey I will see you guys next time have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are bye